Today is the day. We're going on an adventure. My bags are packed. My Uber's on the way. And I'm hoping we're not late. All right, he's outside. I'm good to go. There's only one thing left. And that's to say goodbye to little wee. Okay, off, off and away. Here is my Uber. And next stop, Manchester Airport. <laughs> and we have arrived at our destination. Nothing like 35 minutes of sat in traffic wondering if I'm going to make it or not. <laughs> what a good driver he was. Bobbing and weaving through traffic like there was no tomorrow. All right, Terminal 2, we meet again. Wow, wow, we wow. Manchester Airport got an upgrade. That side... Not so much. Got my ticket. Got fast track. Let's get on through. Glad I got fast track because my flight board's in 15 minutes. Maybe not I got through security in about three minutes. Now to get to the gate. Honestly, this has been remarkably smooth sailing, even though there was 35 minutes worth of traffic. Gonna grab myself some of these. Or not because they're three pound each. But as a meal deal, it works out way cheaper. Okay, now it does say go to gate, but I've got access to this lounge. And I wanna go check it out. So going up and up again, where I've gotta give credit to the team behind Manchester Airport Terminal 2. It's so nice. Look at this place. There's a Wagamama, a San Carlo. I think I found the Escape Lounge. Ooh, this is very nice. And would you just look at that view. This place is stunning. You got all the drinks you could want, the snacks, and of course, the beers. They've even got bubbly. But I don't have time for any of that because I really need to go to the gate. But I just wanted to showcase that. How cool is this? Massive flight radar screen, wicked. Ooh, 10 minutes. Let me to now reach my gate. Going down. Mm. Have I got time to buy socks? Yes. Um, I'm somehow back where I started. Because this is security checking. Um. I'm supposed to be going to gate 210, but I've not seen a sign for it in the last five minutes. Oh dear. Well, the reason I've not seen gate 210 is because it doesn't exist. I'm gate 202. Whoops. At last, gate 202. <laughs> I made it. Amazing. Thank you so much. Clear through that. We made it. Alrighty. Hello, are you okay? I am ready to sit down and relax and pass out. Oh, ho, ho. best seat in the house. It feels so good to be flying again. I honestly thought someone left a drink behind, but apparently it's a can of water. That is a really good name, but um, Lydia just FaceTimed me with Alfie, like roll a video. Night, Daddy. It's my bed now. And they FaceTimed me and look at this screenshot of it. He's so happy to see me. Oh, honestly, I'm going to miss him so much on this trip. I can't express it. Like, oh. I love him. So, oh, they're ruling the safety video. Oh, just in now, it is going to be incredible. And don't think we're still talking about it. But I found a goodie bag. Do you miss it? Why? Tell us the sick. And all sorts. Now wait, the bin. Basset your taste buds. Slow the sun in the skin. It ain't no Rita's rain, but we got chicken for beans and cheese for dessert. Moment of truth time. What films have we got on board? Ferrari. Bring it. Five Nights at Freddy's. And what was it? It's this peering forward, sir. Oh, hell. And then maybe saw Rex. Then that'll pass the time. All right, here we go. already and look at that wind sign. Wow. There's loads of them. That looks mad. Oh, I love flying. I just, you know, to the cabal with it, that's to enjoy it. It's just a amazing. A brew with a view. Unbelievable. Lunch is about to be set up to some sticks. I've got some olives, two candies, vegan dark chocolate, a blueberry muffin flapjack, and some shortbread. But I've got a few and I should probably leave those and only have those. Because today's the first day for 10 weeks that I've not been to my gym with shower one. And I am gutted. Honestly, I don't want to manage the progress I'm yeah. well, Let's review the flapjack. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the olives. Mmm. Mmm. Really nice. And even though there's a drinks tray going round, I've got myself a monster. I'm going to admit something right now. Flying on a plane and just eating and drinking whatever you want is way better than whatever it is I'm trying to do. I'm kind of like trying to balance the diet, but the diet where I'm going to be going for the next five days 
he's just going to be throwing out the window, so I might as well just give it down. I just can't believe I'm not having a beer at 10 o'clock in the morning. Cheers. The starter has arrived. Now, mm. very nice. Oh, now the mains have arrived, and that looks fabulous. Taste test review. Hey. Mm. Mm. Wow. Tooth. That's so good. It's not quite Rita's Lane, but it's better than a bag of fridge readers. Nice. Been great success. I've got a cup of tea on the way and I've got honey to go in it. And would you just look at that view? Flipping aircon. That that right there is why I love flying. It's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's now beauty with a beauty. Oh I love being British. Don't ask about the milk I spill it. <laughs> Wait a minute, am I flying to the wrong destination? Because when I look out the window. There's snow. Maybe I should put the gases back on. No, that's definitely snow. Oh lord. Wait, what the hell is that? Is it just a, is it a boat or is that a random island? One iPhone 15 Pro Max Zoom. What is that? Yeah, it's a fucking like iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at all that down there. Oh yeah, I'm definitely flying into snowy territory. What is this? Where am I freaking going? Not a fucking clue. Now I've just come to the bathroom and I'm like, what time is it? I've like checked my watch at like one o'clock. So if I'm landing at half past four, I've got another like three and a half hours to go. What can I get in? I feel like I've been up way longer than it be this time. And because I'm traveling forward, backwards in time, my watch has been updated because I'm connected to the internet. So even though my phone and watch says it's one o'clock, it's actually 5 p.m. in the UK. So I thought I was a little bit off balance and I definitely, definitely am because uh, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm traveling through time and space. But I think I'm right in seeing it. I'm worth three and a half hours on the plane. One more cup of tea, please. Now as per the flight map, two hours and 18 minutes to go. Cheers. Well, I thought food was over, but look at this chicken satay bell bun. Okay. Nice. Well, I'm doubling down on the fact that I think this flight has absolutely flown by. Because we've gone from snow to, uh, I don't know, is it, is it good for, is it, is it desert now? Uh, well, it's a bit green, actually. Wait, the hell is that? No, it's wherever I'm going. Whoa, it looks warmer. Uh-oh, it is currently nine minutes to seven in the UK, which I think that means... The vlog's gonna be late. Uh, yeah, I went from one vlog not even being uploaded to a vlog being late straight after it. I am sorry. I uh, totally did not understand the time difference of the flight. But hang on a second. I can see coastline where I'm going. What's that about? Hmm? I could be wrong, but is this a very good example of how dirty water is washing out of all the cities and out into the ocean? Just through that very image right there. <laughs> oh yeah, and everyone is picking up and getting ready for landing, because would you look at that? It's almost like we're landing into Grand Theft Auto 6. Mm. Oh my gosh, do they got baseball? Yeah, dog, they got baseball. I am so excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at this place, it's crazy! Oh, spoiler alert, this is only a stepping stone to the next. And touchdown! In going off this weather, I need to take this hoodie off ASAP. I can already feel like my spirits have been in grim old England and just a miserable weather landing. Literally not a cloud in sight. Wow, I just got the text from my phone on screen now that if I want to use data whilst I'm here, it's gonna cost 60 quid for, for 900 megabytes in seven days. What? Looks like I'm going social media free. But that was a very fast nine hour flight, even though that makes no sense whatsoever. But honestly, I didn't even watch a single movie. It just flew by. Whoa. And there we go. We've made it and I hope there's Wi-Fi. Freaking hell, it's bright. Okay, now for the not so fun part. Immigration. I made it through and I am so thankful that I didn't check a bag. Look at that chaos. I just slide on by my little bag. And if you haven't managed to guess where I am yet, let me hop on this monorail, try and see if I can spot an alligator and give you guys a bit of a spoiler. <laughs> 
That's right, I've landed in the United States of America for this guy. Yay! Come here, oh, awesome. mate. Because <laughs> it's not every week one of your best friends is having a, oh my gosh, dude, bachelor party? A bachelor party? And look at, look how he's dressed. Oh, Wait, what? 70 degrees it's, out here. Mate, I'm wearing a t-shirt, jeans, and fucking big thick socks. He's got the sandals, the shorts. You literally look like you're going on, you look like you're going on a holiday. We live in a holiday, Tom. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm from England where we don't really get this thing called sun all that much, so. <laughs> I'm from England. Are you? I grew up in Essex. Oh, no way. Yeah, well, what well, used to be a little village called Braintree. Okay. Now it's a suburb of London. <laughs> <laughs> and you just decided to escape to Florida. Oh, yeah. Well, well played. We live in a holiday. Wow. Trevor's somehow lost his car, but we're definitely in America. Look at this. We got Corvettes. And every truck you walk past is just massive. Dude, are you excited to live in uh, the brand new GTA 6 map? Oh, <laughs> this is gonna become the most infamous airport ever. Every time I come somewhere sunny, I have to question, why do we live in England? Yeah, Tre Trevor, Trevor's having a really bad time trying to find his car here, but I'm just in awe. Look at this, you got, got the GTA taxis. Everything about it is just American. Oh, there he is. Another Corvette. And there's no way, look at that. Gun, Gunshine State. Oh my gosh. License plate, bigger. Ain't no way. No wonder the new GTA is based off this. Yeah, dude, you're playing GTA in real life if you're driving around in this thing. <laughs> I still can't get over the fact that I'm actually here. Like, Lydia actually gave me the green light to come on his bachelor party, right? When the you- Stag, when, stag, dude, day, yeah, stag, stag, dude, stag, dude. When you rang, didn't I say to you like, oh, nah, mate, I'm probably not gonna be able to make yeah. it. It was me, Lydia, sat there with Alfie at like two months old or something. I was like, oh, thanks for the invite, mate. Probably not gonna make it. And then Lydia's mum just went, why are you not gonna be able to make it? And I was like, because we've got Alfie. And she was like, Lydia is more than capable of looking after Alfie. Oh and I was gosh. like, what? I didn't First say- First of all, Lydia, I, didn't I wish you were here. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And sad too. I, thank you so much Because yeah, for... she was having a bachelorette party as well, yes, weren't she? at the same time. Yeah. So, uh, so I thought, oh, like we're not gonna be able to go to it. But Lydia's mum literally went, yeah, Lydia'll be fine. We're, like, I'll be, I'll be here to help her as well. And the you, fact you that both of you guys fun. can come to the wedding too, yeah, is insane. That's just, dude. So thank Lydia's mum, thank you, and Lydia, thank you very much for looking after Alfie and just being. They were both so cool about me coming, and now I'm just, I'm, I'm now in. Florida. We're gonna well, make the most of I'm it. I'm not in Florida for the entire time, and I'm kind of keeping it secret what we're doing here because they don't know yet. Okay, well. Oh, mate, I can't believe it. We might it's a holiday inside a holiday. So you like ducks? Yeah. Yeah? And what's the thing with this? this you is, drive this... on the right side of the road. Yeah, yeah, this is what this is strange this is strange for sure, but Jeep drivers Oh, you got two things. The Jeep wave, you do kind of like a little Yeah, you let on. Like yeah, we do that in a defender, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the ducks, it's just a random thing now. People will duck your Jeep. Like oftentimes we get blue ones, you see all the blue ones because we have the blue Jeep. Ah, okay. So people You literally have about a hundred of these in your booty car. I just I bought like a bag of 150. To leave one of the people's? Just, yeah, it's kind so of. So you'd leave one on that one that right there? Yeah, do you want, do you want to do it? <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah, go duck a Jeep. <laughs> okay. Take that one. Do it. Oh my gosh, what the? This is so fucking American. Oh my god. Mate, I'm probably going to get shot. I'm going to get shot. I literally just saw someone have a gun there's in the back top, of the car. There's more coming, Tom. Oh, uh, uh, hurry up. There you go. I, I put it. I, I, what? Oh, there's a duck on it. There's one already there. There's already one there. No way. Get double ducked, bitch. Sorry. I'm just ducking someone's car. No way. Bro, there was legit one already on there. On the outside? That's, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. To Trevor, this sounds like I'm just having orgasms, but I'm, I'm actually just driving out into the sunshine and I can just feel it on my skin and it is gorgeous. What's the weather temperature here at the moment? Uh, I got kind of cold. How you doing? I think it's like 70. Today. This is kind of cold. Yeah, it's been like 85, 90. Four dollars. We're, we're gonna we're Thank gonna need you. some analytics on the you're screen as to what. Oh really? Four dollars. Four what? quid. <laughs> I should be cheap. I just walked around a, a parking lot <laughs> 85 times because he couldn't find where he parked it. My guy says 19 degrees is cold. It's not cold. Cheers, bro. Cool it's fucking three degrees at home. It's been three like degrees. 50 Celsius here. <laughs> or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. A successful FaceTime to Lydia has been completed. Alfie just woke up and was crying his eyes out on this picture, like you can see now, but. You couldn't have brought me to a better place. We're getting them, baby. What is it? The dry rub? What's your favorite? Chipotle. Chipotle, Chipotle dry rub. Chipotle dry rub. Oh, home. 
Sweet home. As if the first meal off the plane is a fucking buffalo wild wing. I wouldn't normally do this. I would take people somewhere nicer, but this is what Tom always requests, just this so people know. This is like, well, I don't know how healthy this is. This is like, not it's healthy and it's... No, it's protein. <laughs> Great decisions have been made. Six Chipotle rub wings. Thank you. Just thank you. I'm thanking you on behalf of all of America and the world for one of the best establishments ever. Well, 10 weeks worth of work just <laughs> got out the window. To be mm. Yeah. Deliciousness. Thank you. I appreciate that. I was supposed to get that, but there was something with the bill. I've never been so disappointed in an American. Like, I'm driving around just picking up. Uh, I'm the most annoying passenger. I'm picking up like, he's got all these ducks. I've just opened his, his what do you call this? Oh, glove compartment, a glove box. And there's not even a firearm in there. Why? I'm sorry, Tom. Dude, you're terrible. Passionable though. Not a real Floridian. Yeah, you're I not think those are Chelsea's. Oh, I'm good at you though. I'm you should bring him on the trip. Bring it on. Stop sunny, telling him where we're going. I'm, we, we're going somewhere sunny. Or are we? <laughs> no way! Yeah! Go on! No way! Yeah! Go! On. Yeah! President Biden! <laughs> should I have not shouted that? <laughs> By the way, I am not political in the slightest. I just thought I started causing outrage real quick. Mate, this is like playing Grand Theft Auto Six. This is fucking wild. A real. Please. Do you want to go to Gatorland next time? I you would come here? love nothing more to go on than it. What's the things that. Airboats. With a big fan on the back. Yep. To the Everglades. Please I'm gonna let me come back. Play, we're, we'll go shoot some guns. We'll throw some axes. We'll do like real American. Yes. Floridian. Yes. Tom becomes a Florida man. Yes. Go wrestle some snakes. And we'll call it backyard. GTA 6 Perfect. Real Life Edition. Let's do it. That was a bit wild though, wasn't it? I was like, I'm, I'm here to travel like, man, this is really like Grand Theft Auto being in Florida. It's but that's where life. all the memes come from though, right? Was it the guy from Florida who ate bath salts and then just started eating Eating someone? people's faces, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> and you choose to live here? I mean, it keeps it in interesting. Yeah, yeah, spice, spice up your life. I don't know if the Trump supporters appreciate me shouting <laughs> Biden out of the way. Again, not politically concerned. Uh, but yeah, this place is just wild. But I love it. Is that a police officer? Mm -hmm. What? He's checking speeds. Hello, hello. Honey, I'm home. You okay? Hello, girl. Bloody hell. <laughs> size is duck. Fucking size this thing. Have you brought me a toy? It's just, what is it? Oh, it's wet. That's what it is. Oh my God. What, what's going on here? Good size of you. You just calm down. Chelsea, I've said it before. I'm saying it again. Your home is just insane. Look at this. Man, I look out my window. And it's just grey, miserable and rainy. It's so you look outside and this is what you've got in your garden? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Can you do me a favour? Yeah. Can you just grab that for me from the top shelf? Is this because you're eight foot tall? Yeah, you can dude, dude, that is ridiculous. This, pa this pantry... This is for you. This pantry <laughs> is ridiculous. We got this for you. Tom, I... <laughs> This is wild. And why is everything bigger in America? In our closet, I have a step ladder because I can't reach my shoes. <laughs> no, Lydia, Lydia does not need to hear these things. Lydia would be like, can we have that? I'd be like, no. Now, whilst these guys are doing their thing, I need to go into my bedroom. Hello there. Hello. Which again, just in America, it's wild. Look at the height of the ceiling. Why is this a thing? It's ridiculous. And I need to get myself changed because guess what? Today is, okay, I thought, I thought that was a bathroom. I definitely went to open that door thinking it was a bathroom. Looks like I'm going back out here. And now in here. Dude, this is a gym. There we go. Holy moly. Cause listen, even though I've flown across to the other side of the world, it's currently still half past 10 in the UK. And I've got an hour and a half to complete the final day of the triple threat challenge so i'm gonna quickly knock this out of the park now and then chill out for the rest of the day and don't think i'm giving up with like the whole trying to stay fit and stuff like that we're gonna be drinking we're gonna be eating and having a good time we're hitting the gym every morning every morning and they're gonna keep you accountable every morning i only do tuesdays thursdays <laughs> we're gonna go every morning no and listen if you're going i'll go Perfect. all right fine that's fine i'll give in to the peer pressure of that but I've got Charlotte, my actual PT, back at home. She's working out a new 30-day challenge for me to do. So I'm going to finish this one right now. 
and then we'll crack on with a new one. Me too, bud. Yeah. Me too. Me all the bloody hell's going on, what? <laughs> Lights have just gone out in this room, and I'm I'm convinced that if I unlock this, it does lead. To, I knew it. I have been to this house before, and I knew that this bedroom that I'm staying in led into that bathroom. But I didn't know we had a gym, so I'm gonna make the most of it now. So I'm gonna quickly use the bathroom using high beam. There we go. Using high beam lighting. I'm gonna quickly use the bathroom, go and knock out the challenge, and then I can chill out for the rest of the day. Because if I don't get this done before midnight, I fail. Can I take things? to the extreme of being in Florida. Can I take your yoga mat and can I do my workout there? Of course. Yes. Hey, I'm filming it. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna take this, get my tripod out of this. And oh my gosh, what a setting to do it in. This, this is insane. Wow. Imagine just going to your back garden and this is what you've got. Flipping heck. Why do we live in England together? <laughs> I'm confused. But like I was saying, this is the last day of the 30 day triple threat challenge. I've loved it. Like I actually have, as much as I've hated it and the plank's been awful, it's just oh, disgusting workout. This is it. This is the end of something that I put my mind to doing and we've done it. Like I've been going to the gym twice a week until today and I've been doing the 30 day challenge until today that it's just mad. Put your mind to something, you can get shit done. And I tell you what, I've actually really, really enjoyed the results from it so yeah i'm gonna knock this out of the park now with a whopping hour and 15 minutes left before i fail the challenge and um we're done and dusted on to the next chapter i'm probably gonna put on a lot more weight from this stage so the whole like me like hey guys this is the, the shape i managed to get into getting fit and all that sort of stuff yeah it's going out the window because i'm gonna be off adventuring drinking and eating just Americanized food and no offense, but <laughs> I've lived there before and it does build upon your body pretty quick. But yeah, it was nice to put my mind to something and achieve it, but time to have some fun. So let's knock this out the back. Wow. And there we have it. The triple threat challenge has officially been completed. And what a way, and what a place to do it in. Oh my gosh. Done it. How are you as I'm eating it? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, oh, trust me, I'm gonna be eating that, but it's done. 30 days. I made it up as a stupid insane. challenge. So we're starting the new one tomorrow. And I've got to start a new one tomorrow. Together. Together. You, right. can, you can join me if you want to, of whatever the next, the next one is, but with Charlotte the PT, I'm gonna do a new 30 day challenge that I've got to do every day. I, never, I think I'm gonna change it to like, I don't know, like the change up things of difficulty and stuff, but wow. I honestly never thought I'd see the end of that challenge. I thought I'd miss a day. And if I missed a 24 hour period, so say it was like one minute past midnight now, I'd have technically had to reset had to restart and do the whole from thing. 29 days in a row. But I did it, knocked it out of the park. And if you wanna do it, I'm gonna put like the details of it down in the description. He said he was gonna do it, but I think you're gonna do the new one. I'll do the new one. I did yours for a couple of days. I should have done it with you today. You didn't do it I think you earned a hot tub session. Yes! And a few brewskis? Uh, 100%. Oh, very, very nice. So I thought your truck was big. It's medium. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Go and stand near that for scale. It's got two tires. No, let me stand near it. You're about eight foot It's tall. got two tires in the back, Tom. Why is everything in America big? Look at the size of your fucking grass. <laughs> That's St. Augustine. It's what? St. Augustine grass. What does that mean? It's gonna you need to take your it. sock off and put your, your feet in it because it feels really nice. That's a lie. I feel it like really does. No, it, it does. Dude, this is ridiculous. Bro, you, you need, bro, you need two tires. You need two tires. in the back of this. <laughs> Y'all need Jesus. Mate, who needs something that big? What on God's green earth is this thing? This is ridiculous. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going hauling <laughs> trees or something. This is insane. And this is, is this your daily driver? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. One of them. Yeah, yeah. One of them? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. The other one's there. Oh, wait, I'm getting the back. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Hot wheels! I'll be keeping that. <laughs> Let's get a bit of context. This is a Ford what? 450. A Ford 450. You know, like an F-150. The, then there's a 250 go left. I was actually about to say like the plane. <laughs> and then there's a, th a 350. Yeah. And this is the 450. Dude, it sounds like a monster. 
it, what on earth? This just sounds unnecessary. It looks unnecessary. It's for when you want to tow shit. Yeah. Oh, they call right. a bunch of shit. Yeah? yeah. Wow. You can tow a whole, whole, whole lot of shit with this I thing. I got a... Crikey. Uh, I got a... It's called a nitro fifth wheel. And basically I hook up to the middle of my trailer truck here. Yeah. And it's 40 feet, 24 feet long. And in the back, it's got a door that comes down and I can drive either a small car or a golf car. I have a really? Car oh, so it's like the ultimate... Oh, I travel oh. But it sleeps like 12 people. Really? Yes. Holy crap. Oh, it gets Dude. better. It gets oh, better. Better. Oh, better. Dude. That's sick. That is very, very cool. This is just Florida in a nutshell. This guy's hanging his trainers out of the window. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Mate, I need to come back here for a, a full week just and just vlog Florida. the <laughs> chaos of Florida. Yeah, six weeks of, of material. Oh, like six months of material. We're already back at the airport, but we're going picking up one of your boys for the rest of the trip. Because, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, dude, it's your bachelor party. Oh my god. I can't get over the name. When you bachelor. said to me, like, do you want to come on my bachelor party? I, I honestly, like, took me a few seconds to be like, I don't know what you're saying. You should have said stag, dude. Yeah, stag, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <They're> Look <laughs> at that view behind us, man. The sky's insane, Trevor. I can't believe like this is just so nonchalantly it's your home. There. Well played. Yeah. You well played. Have sunsets in England or what? Yeah, we do, but like, bro, <laughs> it's just <laughs> it's insane. We're in the rain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much the case. Yeah. Nah, you gotta leave me alone. I gotta film it, man. The train tracks are coming down. I'm, li I'm, I'm living out my, my youth. I know. Wait, where is it? Where's the train? Oh, look, you've even got the taco trucks by the side. Oh, mate, this is Grand Theft Auto. This is just brilliant. Look at it. I bet that food's so good. Even though I don't like... Oh, it's there! Look at the fucking size of it. America. Uh, I miss it and I've got to move back here immediately. Is this the door handle? Oh, it is the door handle. Oh my gosh. You forget... You, you forget how big it is. Oh, no dear. America. I don't use keys. Oh, yeah. No, oh, it's all right. Oh, really? Wait, what do you use? My keys locked in there. Oh, you use I a passcode to get in? Yeah. Oh, okay, we, we won't show that, don't worry. Okay. I've never heard of a Wawa, let alone been in one. Okay, then. Oh, this is my kind of location. This is mental. Oh, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Nope. <sighs> oh my gosh. I'm absolutely drooling. Funyuns. Shit the bed, Batman. There they are. In the... uh, what you have like you got? Dew? What? You like Mountain Dew? Uh, what is that? Mountain Dew hard. Contains alcohol. alcohol. <laughs> Mountain Dew do alcohol? <laughs> oh, bro, I can make an entire 30 minute vlog here. This is nuts. Bro, wait, what is that? What is this? Spicy queso for, I'm trying these ones. They're sold. Oh my gosh, I can't be in this country. Look at the state of this. See, see that that's what I should be going for. But instead, I'm on the, oh my gosh, Powdered donut aisle. Where are the Twinkies? Sure, there's Twinkies around here. So I nearly just got punched. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know what to Mate, I nearly got punched by the most angry, like, person behind the counter. She was like, I need the expiration date of your passport. Oh my we god. Don't take UK passport. She here. started screaming, didn't she? Yeah, that yeah. was. The, Dude, she uh, have you ever experienced anything UK like that? Passport? No, never. Dude, she was, life. like, screaming at us. I was like, Oh my my date of birth is 230693. I'm 31 please. years old. Let please just let me buy this. Can yeah, please let me buy this alcoholic Mountain Dew. Like, don't get me wrong, I know I look like a 12 year old sometimes, but fucking hell. This is my gas station haul. And you know what? I'm just immediately going for a taste test. I don't think I'm going to eat the entire bag, but hey, listen, if I'm in America, I've got to try it. Funyuns, which I've not eaten in God knows how long. 10 weeks. Here it is. I'm going to try a spicy queso Funyun. Good. Did you remember that night on your kitchen table that we just sat there and ate chips and Yeah, ramen? just wasted. Just wasted. Oh my gosh, how good are they? Oh. Wow. I love America, man. I love it. Are you ready? I'm going to now try a, a Mountain Dew hard. Oh, it's zero sugar. Oh, I was worried I wasn't going to be able to drink it all. 
Oh, these dogs are huge. Ready? All right, Mountain Dew, what do you see him? Oh, that's delicious. <laughs> That's dangerous. What percent is it? Oh, Jesus. What percent is it? I didn't, on? don't oh Jesus me, I didn't pick it. Okay, I'm back into the gym. What is wrong with you? Like, it sounds so like inspired jokes and lifting like terrible weights, but honestly, I felt so bad not going to the gym today. I'm like, gotta do something. Even if it's just a little bit. I know I've done my like 30 day challenge, but as long as I can just do a little bit close to like what Charlotte, my PT, has like taught me, you know, like, like exercise wise, then at least it's a bit of something. But you know what's weird though? Americans do their weights in pounds. So this is 45 pounds? I don't have a clue what that is in KG. And I honestly can't for the love of me. Remember what I'm lifting KG doing this. <sighs> oh. But I'm doing it. At least I'm doing something. So I'm going to do a few of those. Maybe like a few goblet squats or something like that. And then I'm um, going to hit this bad boy for a few. Listen, I know I'm supposed to be here for the bachelor party, but it technically doesn't start <laughs> till tomorrow. So if I can get some workout in today, then hey, it's something rather than nothing. Whew. <laughs> Charlotte, be proud of me. What are you guys making? Burgers and, burgers and fries. You're making Brussels the burgers? Sprouts. Yeah. Yeah. Holy crap. Brussels sprouts. Uh, I didn't wash my spinach, hands. Spinach, feta. Oh, I'm just kidding. Calories. <laughs> yeah, that is Whoa. Awesome. Brussels sprouts. Spinach, oh my gosh. Strawberry feta salad. Wow. Corn. Oh, they look American. And I have stuff for dessert. Oh, no, you get out of here. I had no idea. Chelsea is he's going to turn me in too. I am mad. Girlfriend, ready? what are you doing? Whoa! Fine. Oh! oh my it's my side to my face! <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking freaky. I feel like I'm about to go and rob a oh, convenience store. Right. You see, now, the woman at the gas station, I could understand if she was offended with me wearing this. <laughs> but there was no need for that altercation before. Yes. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's fixing the skin. Dude, it's fixing my skin and massaging my head. It's it's really, really good Holy for crap, I love one. Is it massaging your face? Yeah, it's real nice. Dude, yeah. it's so nice. Oh my gosh, this is nice. I can explain. <laughs> I lied, dog, I cannot explain, but oh, it's time to cook up on the grill. Oh my god, wow. Yep, that's uh, definitely that temperature. We're about to cook up some burgers and some sausages at a whopping, um, what, it's only half past nine here, but it's currently half past one in the UK. Your boy's tired. <laughs> Your body is tired. Oh, and I'm actually pretty exhausted from that workout. My legs are pumped. Woo! Passion fruit, man. What a convenient it's timing. <laughs> I went without a beverageino for an entire three seconds. Wait for it. Ow. Oh, I broke it. I know what's wrong with it. Ain't got no gas in it. Oh my gosh, the barbecue is on. And so is the hot tub. Oh my gosh. What an absolute vibe. I've only just got in this and the dogs are running wild. Like, literally, look at this. This dog keeps bringing over the infamous super coop. Keeps bringing over the ball. And I refuse to throw it because if it goes in the pool, apparently they'll jump in after it. But I think food might be ready. Trevor Risco, are we looking? I forgot the cheese, Tom. You forgot the cheese? I forgot the cheese. Oh my gosh. Oh. Chelsea, what on earth, man? Look at these Brussels sprouts. Not just for Christmas. <laughs> look at, oh, look at that cheese shot. Oh my gosh. And the brioche bun and everything. Oh. God damn. I can't believe I'm eating this now because it's technically two o'clock in the morning in the UK yeah. and this is now my nightcap meal. Mmm. Mmm. 
Okay. It's very nice. Oh, and for my next trick, you know how I said I'm here for Trevor's bachelor party. Well, I am. And whilst I'm here, because I'm going to be going to the wedding, which is in a couple of months, um, they've got a tuxedo for me to try on because I'm going to be one of the, is it a groomsman? A bachelor, I'm going to be part of a bachelor party. What? What the hell would we call that? I have no idea. Like we have stag dudes, they have bachelor pies. They have hen dudes, they have bachelorette, bachelor, bachelorette, bachelorette party. I have no idea how I pronounce it. But for the outfit for the wedding, they've got an entire suit for me to try on. And the thing is, I didn't even go get it fitted. You're just slowly sliding away, by the way. I didn't even get it fitted. They were like, yeah, go on this website, tick these boxes, and then we'll get it delivered. And four days ago, I ordered this tuxedo. So I'm gonna try it on now, see if it fits. And if it does, there's my suit for the wedding. If it doesn't, we just order it again and hope it fits. So be right back. Once I've got that on. And just like that, do, 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 do. that is me with the tuxedo one. It's crazy because it's like, they don't fit it to you like someone does a gum chum, like measure you or anything like that. They just send it to you. You go, yes, it's long enough, it's too short or whatever. And then they'll send you another one in the post and then you get the perfect tuxedo. So there you go, look at that. Wow, what we were. I even have Cumberbund. I don't know how you're supposed to wear these. I wore this to meet the King of England once, um, but we couldn't get it to fit. So I just kind of like stitched it together at the back. But look at that. Wow, what we were. I am James Bond. Bang, bang. I'd like to say, looking very sharp. Oh yeah, you like this big boy? Hey, hey I met your wedding. Wow, what we were. Ta-da! I'm now in the hot tub. <laughs> the outfit changing got done, got completed, and I'm sized up. And what did you talk about earlier? Oh my gosh, this is warm. Bloody hell, Trevor. I touched this before and it was freezing she cold. Tingles. How the bloody hell did you get a hot tub to warm up this fast? Tingles. It's fucking very nice, I like it. Tomorrow morning. Yeah, but you're awake still, so. To tomorrow morning, to be in a good time and the best time. Cheers, Jen. Where are we going tomorrow, Tom? It's a surprise. <laughs> so you guys are gonna have to do me a favor. You have to leave a like rating on the video. Make sure you click that subscribe and ding dong that notification bell because I have no idea when the next video is gonna be going out for your faces. It may be the one epic mega vlog once I'm done with this trip. So when I get it all together, get it edited, I'm gonna post it and I hope you guys are gonna love it. So just honestly, thank you for watching. Thanks for the support. Sorry for the week of shenanigans with how the vlogs have been all over the place, but I promise you it's gonna be worth it. So until next time, Here's a little bit of a teaser. I'll see you then. Adios.